Hello, this is NixComputerFix.com and here's a video on how to transfer your iTunes library from an old computer to your new Windows 10 computer. Okay, let's start with step one. Copy iTunes library from your old computer and that includes everything that you had in iTunes. Now let's go ahead and open up iTunes on your old computer. I'm running Windows 7. You might be running Windows 8.1. In either case, Go ahead and open up iTunes on your desktop. Once it's open, we want to go up to the menu bar. And if you don't see the menu bar, you have to click on this drop down arrow here and go down and click on show menu bar. And once you do, you'll be able to see it going across the top here from left to right. And we want to go ahead and click on edit. And then scroll down and click on preferences. And that will open up the general preferences window where we can go over and click on the advanced tab and the reason we're here is one we want to find out and make sure exactly where our iTunes media folder is located mine is located in the default location when iTunes was first installed on my old computer here on my C drive slash users slash Nick slash music slash iTunes slash iTunes Media and yours may be located in the same default location or a or something similar to this make note of it uh, write it down or whatever because we need to know where this um, iTunes media folder is located in a few minutes okay down here put a check mark here next to keep your iTunes media folder organized I like to have my music organized on my uh, computer and I recommend you always do that and the third item down here is if you have a check mark here that's cool if you don't go ahead and put one um, we want to do is uh, copy files to iTunes media folder when adding to the library and this makes a copy of any music or mp3 um, file that you might have um, located anywhere on your computer and puts a copy of it into iTunes okay once done of course click on OK now let's go ahead and consolidate all of our music that's on our computer system here. I have an MP3 file on my desktop and if I grab it and drag it and drop it into my iTunes library here, um, it's not really in iTunes. It's only making a reference between my desktop and iTunes here. Um, what we want to do is make a copy of it and place it in iTunes. So the way we go about doing that is we go up to our menu bar and we want to go ahead and click on file and go down and click on library, click on organize library and put a check mark right here consolidate files. And what this is going to do is locate all of the files that you have on your computer that are music files and make a copy of them and place them into the iTunes library for you and it doesn't touch or disturb the existing file or location of those music files on your computer so that's pretty cool and once that's done we go ahead and click on OK and let's go ahead and close out iTunes because we no longer need this app open and go ahead and insert a USB flash drive or an external hard drive um, into your USB port on your computer system that has a large enough capacity to handle all the music files that you want to copy and uh, transfer over to your new computer. Now in Windows 7 you get this prompt and I can click and open up Windows File Explorer from here but if you don't get this prompt in Windows 7 let's go ahead and close this out. You can always go down to the start menu in the lower left hand corner here and left click and then go up and click on uh, computer and that will open up the file um, explorer. Now once you have it open as you can see my flash drive is uh, the letter E. Yours may be E or D. Um, it depends on the system but once you've uh, located your flash drive and know where it's located let's go ahead and go to our um, music files and uh, we want to go to users slash nick slash music 
slash iTunes and within iTunes you can see that our iTunes media folder is in there and we want to right click on iTunes and we want to scroll up and click on copy. Now that copies the whole iTunes media folder into our computer memory and that allows us to paste that whole folder um, into or on to our flash drive and I'm going to go down here and click on E which is my removable disk or my flash drive and I'm going to right click and scroll down and click on paste. Now that's going to go ahead like I said and copy that whole iTunes folder that includes everything that was in iTunes onto my flash drive on my old computer. Now keep in mind depending on the speed and performance of your computer and how many music files you need to copy onto your flash drive this can take a couple of minutes to a good number of hours but once it's completed at this point we can go ahead and uh, close this out and eject our um, flash drive from our old computer. I'm going to right click on um, the removable disk E and scroll up and click on eject and that safely re um, tells me that I can remove my uh, flash drive from my computer and that way I eliminate any possible data or music corruption on my flash drive. Alright, um, at this point I'm going to go ahead and remove the flash drive out of my USB port on my old computer. And move forward to step two, copy iTunes library to your new computer. Okay, on my new computer I'm running Windows 10 and I'm going to go ahead and grab that USB flash drive that I copied the iTunes library from my old computer onto and I'm going to go ahead and insert that into a USB port on my um, Windows 10 laptop and once I do I'll go ahead and get a prompt down here in the lower right hand corner and it says what do I want to do and if I click on that it gives me choices and I can go up here and click on open folders to view the files in File Explorer. Now if you don't get this there's other ways to get this File Explorer open within Windows 10. Let me go ahead and minimize this and of course I can click down here and open it if I happen to have that um, pin to the taskbar or on my start menu I can right click and go up and click on File Explorer. Okay I'm going to go ahead and reopen this from my taskbar and as you can see my USB flash drive is on E on my uh, Windows 10. Yours may be on E or a different letter but certainly identify it and once you have um, you know, go ahead and minimize um, File Explorer and open up iTunes. Let me center that up. Um, the reason we have iTunes open now is because we want to confirm that uh, the iTunes media folder is still in the default location and you do that by going to this menu bar. But if you don't see this menu bar, click on this um, arrow and you can either hide the menu bar um, with this menu or if you click on that uh, down arrow again you can show the menu bar and once you do see it click on edit and go to preferences and then that opens up the general preferences window and click on the advanced tab and as you can see mine is in the default location of user slash nick slash music slash itunes slash itunes media and yours should be as well now I'm going to say cancel because I don't want to make any changes and one other note is that iTunes is empty. There's no music in it presently right now. Okay, I'm going to open up uh, File Explorer again and go back to my flash drive and then I'm going to click on iTunes folder on my flash drive and I'm going to go ahead and right click and scroll up and click on copy. Now that copies that whole iTunes folder from my flash drive into my Windows 10 memory and that way I can uh, go ahead and place that anywhere on my C drive 
on Windows 10 and as you can see under this PC there is a folder called music I could get to my iTunes that way or go to C and go to user slash Nick slash music and uh, slash iTunes and as you can see my iTunes media folder is right there now again iTunes um, is empty there's no music in it on my new computer so I am safe to right click and delete this folder and that's what I'm going to do and once I do delete it that whole iTunes media folder that was on my new computer is now permanently gone now I can go back and click on music make sure that I'm on that music folder and right click and say paste and that pastes the iTunes media folder and the whole iTunes folder that I had copied over to my flash drive from my old computer and as you remember a few moments ago I copied that um, into my Windows 10 system memory which allowed me to paste it anywhere I chose and in this case I wanted to go ahead and paste it in the default location where iTunes um, would be able to locate it and discover where it's at. Okay, this can take a few minutes to a good number of hours depending on the speed and performance of your computer and also the number of music files that you might have that need to be copied over to your new computer. So um, you might have to be patient, walk away, take a break and come back. At any rate, once it's done, um, you're good to go and as you can see um, I now have my new iTunes media uh, iTunes folder on my Windows 10 and I'm gonna go ahead and close out file explorer here and go ahead and open up uh, iTunes within Windows 10 and I should be able to see my music that was on my old computer on my new computer and as you can see it is all my songs that I had on my old computer are now on my new computer and uh, as well as my playlist and any art that was associated with my music files okay that's it for this tutorial subscribe and like my video